Today, we will be taking a look at the top kite surfing destinations in Australia, so you can plan your next exhilarating adventure on the water. Starting off the list, we have Safety Bay in Western Australia, which is a hotspot for kite surfers due to its flat water and consistent wind conditions. Located south of Perth, Safety Bay offers an ideal location for both beginners and advanced kite surfers. The season runs from November to March with an average wind speed of 18 to 25 knots. The pond is the most popular spot in Safety Bay, known for its flat water and waist-deep conditions. Additionally, the area boasts a vibrant community of kite surfers, and local schools offer lessons for those looking to learn. After a day on the water, you can explore the nearby town of Rockingham and indulge in delicious seafood at one of the local eateries. Next up, we have Lancelin in Western Australia, a small fishing town located north of Perth. Lancelin is famous for its stunning beaches and dunes and is a kite surfing paradise with strong and consistent winds. The best season to kite surf in Lancelin is from November to March with wind speeds averaging 20 to 30 knots. The best spots for kite surfing in Lancelin are Lancelin Bay and Edward Island. Besides kite surfing, Lancelin is also popular for sandboarding on its massive sand dunes. The town itself is quaint with a laid-back vibe, and the annual Lancelin Ocean Classic event attracts water sports enthusiasts from around the world. Before proceeding any further, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications icon so you get notified when we upload the next video. Moving on, we have Margaret River in Western Australia. This region is not just famous for its wineries but also for its excellent kite surfing conditions. Margaret River offers a mix of waves and flat water, making it suitable for all levels of kite surfers. The season usually runs from October to March, with an average wind speed of 18 to 25 knots. The best spots for kite surfing in Margaret River are Augusta and Narrabup Beach. Beyond the waves, Margaret River is a haven for food and wine lovers, with numerous vineyards and restaurants. Additionally, the area is rich in natural beauty, with caves and forests to explore. Moving on, we have Port Douglas. Port Douglas offers kite surfers warm waters and steady winds. The kite surfing season here is from May to November, making it a great destination during the Australian winter. With an average wind speed of 15 to 20 knots, this tropical paradise offers spots like Four Mile Beach and Archers Point. Port Douglas also serves as a gateway to the Great Barrier Reef, making it an excellent spot for snorkeling and diving. The town itself has a resort-like atmosphere with boutique shops, cafes, and galleries. Now we have Elliot Heads in Queensland. Elliot Heads is known for its turquoise waters and consistent winds. This spot offers both flat water and waves, making it perfect for riders of all levels. The kite surfing season runs from September to April with an average wind speed of 15 to 25 knots. The Elliot River Mouth is a popular spot in Elliot Heads, providing ideal conditions for freestyle and wave riding. Additionally, Elliot Heads is close to the town of Bundaberg, known for its rum, and offers a serene environment that is perfect for relaxing after a day of kite surfing. Noosa Heads in Queensland Noosa Heads is a paradise for kite surfers with its subtropical climate, beautiful beaches, and great wind conditions. The main kite surfing season is from September to March with wind speeds averaging 15 to 20 knots. Noosa River Mouth is a popular spot, especially during the northerly winds. Noosa Heads is not just about kite surfing, it's also a bustling town with high-end shops, restaurants, and a national park with stunning coastal trails. Next up we have Byron Bay in New South Wales. Byron Bay is one of Australia's most famous holiday destinations known around the world, with its eclectic atmosphere and stunning beaches. The kite surfing season runs from September to April, and the northerly winds provide perfect conditions for kite surfing with an average wind speed of 15 to 25 knots. The best spots for kite surfing in Byron Bay are Belongal Beach and Main Beach. Apart from kite surfing, Byron Bay is a hotspot for surf culture and alternative lifestyles. There's a vibrant art scene, and the town offers a range of dining options, boutique shops, and wellness retreats. Australia is home to an array of stunning kite surfing destinations, each with its own unique charm and conditions. Whether you're a seasoned pro or looking to catch your first gust, these destinations offer an unforgettable experience. Happy kite surfing!